Paul Michael Caine is the Candyman. <laughs> What's he unboxing? What it be? Well, I don't know. Shut up and see. Right now, as I'm recording this, Philip Fricasse is out like a madman promoting Boys in the Valley, the tour Nightfire Trade Edition. He started up his own Kickstarter to fund his own book tour, and he's doing it right now through California, Texas. He's going to be in Tennessee, Kentucky. He's going to be all over the place. Uh, I'm going to catch up with him in Nashville, Tennessee at Parnassus on August 15th. So if you see this video before that date, go check it out, um, and it's going to be a great time. But right now, he's promoting this book, but before it was this book, it was this book, Boys in the Valley by Earthling. It was limited to 500 copies of beautiful Glenn Chadbourne artwork, signed and numbered by Philip Fricasse and Andy Davidson, and I have number five, and wow, what a spectacular read. This was my introduction to Philip Fricasse. Since then, I have been a Fricasse freak, reading everything I can from the man, and never once have I been disappointed. Everything is excellent. Just, he's, he's the real deal, he's amazing. Well. When this book was out and the, and the secondary market was just going bonkers, I mean, this book is like a $300 book. What did it cost initially? $50. And now it's like $300, $400. I don't even know where it's at, to be honest. But Earthling Publications, uh, they do first editions. They do the first ever appearance of many of their titles. Some of their titles, of course, are not. First in the world, for example, Weave World or Hellbound Heart, those were uh, anniversary editions. Those books were already out. But Boys in the Valley, this is the first appearance of it, and it uh, has gone way, way up. But what made it even more valuable was the Paul Michael Kane 19th edition slipcase. Purple cloth. He created this logo, this PF logo for the spine hand carved wood or laser engraved wood. Every piece of wood was subtly different, but um, this was a great addition to the edition, <laughs> the Earthling edition. And it was commissioned by Philip Fricasse himself, so it's pretty much an official slipcase to go with the Earthling edition. And uh, need I say this, but it fits like a glove. Just a beautiful, beautiful way to preserve such an excellent copy. Well, not long after Boys in the Valley, Philip Fricasse released Gothic with Earthling Publications. And of course, it also has Glenn Chadbourne art on the dust jacket. It has a signature sheet signed. I got one that actually has a little addition to it um, by Philip Fricasse. And this is also another excellent book. I think when I read this, I really realized that Philip Fricasse is the real deal. This solidified it for me. I thought Boys in the Valley was just a superb book. Great storytelling and all the heart and horror you could want in a piece of fiction. But I thought, you know, there's little room to think, okay, he got his first at-bat and he knocked it out of the park and, you know, it was a great read, but maybe his next ones aren't going to live up to it. No, 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 that could not be further from the truth. So Gothic uh, really solidified Philip Fricasse's status as a must-buy author. Well, Paul Michael Caine, in true creative genius artistic fashion, created a slipcase for Gothic that matches the um, Boys in the Valley slipcase. This is a little different. There's more, it's more of an ornate carving to the wood, um, but laser engraved title treatment, Gothic by Philip Fricasse, and then that logo, the PF logo on the spine. I'm sparing you the, the cut and open of the box, the whole, the whole thing. But trust me, I, my eyes rolled out of my head when I saw this. I had seen pictures of it, of course, um, but nothing compares to the texture and the whole vibe of, of this, this material. It looks 
ancient. It looks like skin, but it also kind of looks like ivy and vines, which are prominent in the book Gothic. And I was blown away. I think he did an inc another incredible job on this slipcase. Um, I've I've gotten uh, I've seen pictures and the wood, the tone of the wood uh, varies. So there are lighter boards, lighter pieces of board that are on here, and um, and darker. And I wanted the darker wood. Not to say darker is better for the the slipcase, but I just wanted it because Gothic is such a great dark book, and I was so happy to see that the tone I had was on the darker side. And of course, the, the Philip Fricasse logo on the spine made from the same piece, the same sample of wood. Oh, and yes, of course, the true test right here. Boom. Oh, superb job. It's not an easy thing to get uh, the slipcase to fit every book in a print run it's it, it, there, there can be varying little little degrees of difference perhaps with the cut of the dust jacket or the way the book was was printed and bound um, and also when you construct these slip cases you can you can slide a little bit and make it tighter or looser but i've never gotten a 19th edition slip case that did not slip fit the book beautifully not too tight not too loose just perfect fit and together it is a stunning set now just like boys in the valley gothic from earthling has shot up on the secondary i think there was a lot of conversation especially around the boys in the valley slipcase it cost 75 dollars. the book cost 50 and people were reasoning why would you buy a slipcase that cost more than the book itself I responded to those people that the book on the secondary market is well beyond its $50 original retail price. So therefore, it is only a portion of the current value. And the presentation on the shelf, I mean, come on. You know, I'll do the photos at the end to give you um, something better to look at. But wow, just, just a superb job. These are the Earthling editions. I heard that uh, Philip Fricasse will be doing future Earthling editions with, um, with Paul Miller over there. So maybe Paul Michael Kane will come out with a third slipcase um, for these. But that is not all that came in my 19th edition box. Uh, when I was getting, when I got the shipping notice for the slipcase, uh, I hadn't been to the 19th edition product page in a while. I'm like, what has he been up to? What have I missed? Because the guy is a workhorse. He creates so much stuff that makes the shelves just jump. I have boxes of 19th edition merchandise that make the stories just a little more tangible. And of course, his bookmarks are insane. You almost don't want to use them in the books. But to accompany this slipcase, he created this bookmark. It says, do this in remembrance of me, which is tied in, of course, to the story. And it has a facsimile of the Philip Fricasse signature. So Philip Fricasse, gothic bookmarks created just for uh, Fricasse fans. I think the only way you can get these is if you bought the gothic slipcase. I believe there are more. I don't know if they're producing more or if there are leftovers from the initial run. They were only doing 100. Um, Gothic only had a print run of 235. It's a little more than half of the print run of Boys in the Valley. And they were doing, I believe, 100 slipcases. So that's a good percentage out there for people who want to protect their Earthling and Philip Fricasse investments.
but that is far from all. I get to show you some really cool stuff he was working on. When I went to that product page, I saw some stuff that I had missed out, and I'm like, oh my God, I got to get these things. And here they are. He sent them along. This is a Pennywise It Carnival ticket, circus ticket. Join us in Derry in the circus featuring Pennywise and admit one. So it's a ticket, 19 cents, of course. 19th edition and then on the flip side of that is this is it's kind of chilling man but again this is how i think paul michael kane does a tremendous job of bringing these works to life this is a missing poster for georgie missing george denborough um six years old and it is uh something that you may have seen on posters um stuck to light poles around Derry in 1986 fantastic job i love both sides of this and again it is a bookmark if i do another reading of it which i probably will i can't stop loving that book uh i may use this for that bookmark but it's such a beautiful piece that you just kind of want to leave it on the shelf in front of the book then he did this richard bachman bookmark um well it's a bookmark that's a 19th edition currency and as you know, you should know uh, who Richard Bachman is. He's the pseudonym Stephen King wrote under way back when to prove that he had real writing chops. And if you get one of these, there are tons of Easter eggs loaded throughout. And there's the flip side. So you can get a look at that. But um, you can pause at home and see if you can find all the Easter eggs. Obviously, that hand right next to Richard Bachman's face is for Thinner. Great book, United States of Bachman. <laughs> so there's that. And then here is a Dark Tower currency. Look at this. Just shut up and look at that. Oh, my gosh. I want to punch the camera. It's so gorgeous. Look at that. But the best part of this is the other side... The man in black fled across the desert and the gunslinger followed. Look at that. And I know he is selling prints of this on the website. I'm going to link in the description. You can get one. Roland confronting the tower just should give you chills. If you've followed the Dark Tower saga and you read all the books, that should give you chills. I always wanted to do a video um, of Bette Midler's The Rose and just have a super cut of Roland going toward the tower. And I don't know how I would film it. I don't know who I would hire, but I could picture that video of, of uh, Bette Midler singing and, and Roland walking through a field of roses. It's amazing. Um, thanks you for, thank you for indulging me. And then this one, this is Stephen King. Um, currency this is a 19th edition currency for stephen king and on the flip side is molly the thing of evil and tabitha king um and this cool holographic um detail to make the currency unique and one of a kind awesome stuff but that is not all the last thing i have to share with you is the ghost of brooks it is a lenticular print and I'm not even sure if my camera will pick it up, but you could see how Brooks disappears when you when you move it. It it's I'm looking at the camera and it's really not doing it as well as it does in person. So um, <laughs> it's so cool. I I've gotten it. I've gotten them to disappear very easily. So I don't know if that shows up real nice. And on the back, it has uh, Paul Michael Caine's signature with a description of this print. Awesome stuff. I, I, I was just blown away. I really was way too eager when I got the box in the mail and I just cut it open and I'm like just drooling over everything. So that's why I didn't go through the trouble of cutting the box and filming that. It's hard, man. It's tough when you get these goodies in the mail and you're just so geeked and you, and you want to get them on your shelf. And it's, uh, it's really hard to resist and wait for the setup. But I get to share it with you irregardless. 
Now, I only said irregardless because I'm wearing my grammar Nazi shirt. So, you know, irregardless isn't a real word. You know that. You know that, and I know that. But, you know, it's fun. It's fun. So that's it. I've linked to uh, Paul Michael Kane's 19th edition product page so you can get over there and, and gobble up some of these things. I, if you're a Stephen King fan, you're bound to find something that you're like, I've got to have that. I've got to have it. There's a ton of stuff there. And also, catch Philip Fricasse on his book tour. It's going to be a lot of fun. I've seen you know, he, some of these stops have live-streamed his conversations, and it's great. I can't wait to be there in Nashville doing the Q&A and meeting Philip Fricasse for the first time face-to-face. I've interviewed him on this channel, but man, being in the same room with him is going to be such an experience. So I encourage you to do the same, and uh, thank you for joining me this time. I hope to see you in the next time, and in the meantime, stay frosty.